Alrighty guys, public service announcement here. Pimax has finally dropped the software update that gives everyone access to eye tracking. What this means is we have the full suite of capabilities available to us all now. All right, specific to DCS, we have access to Quad Views Foveata rendering. Now this is an amazing upgrade for DCS. Basically, it only renders a really small area, exactly where we're looking, in high resolution, and everything other than that is in our peripherals, and it's kind of inconsequential how high the resolution is rendered. So what we're gonna to do today is, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to install, what settings you need to do, and everything we're gonna to use to get you up and running. All right guys, let's tuck into it. Alrighty guys, so the first piece of software we're going to look at here is the Pimax client. Okay, so once we're all detected, we're going to go and click into the settings here. Okay, so we're in the device tab, and we're going to make sure 90 hertz is ticked, and also the eye tracking. As long as all that's ticked, the rest of it is inconsequential. I leave the auto IPD there, because it's an amazing feature. And apart from that, the only real thing that we need to go into is in the games tab. Okay, so the only other setting we need to worry about is the render quality set for balanced here. Dynamic foveata rendering doesn't need to be on for quad views to work. Okay, so just make sure that smart smoothing is off as well. Alrighty, so we're going to jump into the Pimax XR runtime here and we are going to enable the quad views rendering and also select the runtime. Then once we do that, we click on this button, download or update quad views foveated utility. That is going to bring up a window okay so i'm just going to have a look down this window at the moment show you what it's about basically it explains everything you need to get it running we don't really need to worry about that because i'm just going to show you the basics here okay so we're going to scroll down to the setup section here that's just showing you that dcs and pavlov are the only two applications that use it at the moment we're praying for more soon but basically we're going to go to the setup it's going to have a link for you to download we're going to click on the quad views foveata 1.1.1 which is a current release at the time of recording we're going to download it and install it and that is that unless we want to use open xr toolkit we're good to go everything should work right off the bat we don't need to do anything else all right if you want to use the open xr toolkit i'll quickly show you what the in-game settings are but it's not required at all Alrighty, so we're in DCS here. We're just having a look at the performance tab in the OpenXR toolkit. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna turn our overlay off. I don't find that I need to see the FPS. I know it's sitting on 90 most of the time and I don't wanna know when it's less because it's distracting. Okay, so apart from that, we go down and we make sure the upscaling is also off. Um, Quadview's foveated rendering has a inbuilt CAS and that's set for 0.7 times by default. So we really don't need to have CAS on. Double, double upscaling produces undesirable effects. So we disable that. Make sure you disable foveated rendering. It's not required to work. And I leave turbo mode on. I do like the benefits of turbo mode. So apart from that, we're good to go. We don't need anything other than what you can see here, if you use it for the color reproduction, that's the only real thing that I'd suggest using um, the OpenXR toolkit for, um, other than maybe a system resolution override if you're on a mid-range system. Um, yeah, good to go. Alrighty guys, so we're all done here. It should be up and running. You should be seeing all the benefits of Quavius foveated rendering and enjoying amazing DCS experiences. Once again, a big shout out to Mabuchia for giving us access to this software and all the benefits that come with it. If you like what you saw, give us a like, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. Until next time, I'll see you later.